Uh, EWPN means European Women Payment Network, yeah. and it's a pan-European platform or community for women working in financial sector. We champion diversity and inclusion in the industry. I think this network is very important because women need the support of others. Like men, ha you have used their fraternities for centuries to claw up the ladder. No, I believe it's very important for for women to network to kind of help women, you know, build that confidence which is needed to 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 rise. Uh, you know, in, 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 in industry, and especially payments and financial services have always been a, a difficult sector for women. I think the support is fantastic and it goes to show what the power of, you know, just getting a couple of people together. It was really impressing to see so many women all together. It's more colorful, it's more chatty, um, the food is good, we think about all the details, there's a lactation room, there's a prayer room, I mean all of those empathetic things that are, make us women great. We have multiple programs, so we do that through mentorship program, through membership, um, leadership programs, and we partner together with organizations that are interested in uh, promoting diversity and inclusion. Yeah. I think it's really helpful also for more junior women in the industry to uh, grow their network, um, to find uh, potential mentors but also sponsors to help them take the next step in their career. Uh, while we were having dinner last night, you know, one of the ladies next to me really said, oh, I'm so happy that there's so more, that there's a lot of senior ladies here because I, I'm really keen to talk about, you know, my next step in my career, how I should do this. And I think the, the barrier here to talk about these kind of things is really low. So it's, yeah. it's really a good place. There's a lot of mentoring. A lot of women I met here, senior women, which want to do mentoring, which really actively want to do that. I appreciate the women who have been a role model to me and now I feel like, okay, now I also need to contribute myself if I do truly believe that we can help each other if we work together as women. Especially as a, a bit of an older woman, it's very important for me to help other women and uh, to share my experience and, you know, to help. You know, I do a lot of mentoring as well. They all turned up here, so yeah. they obviously want to be seen, they want to be heard, they want to have the profile. Um, and it was like Terry said this morning, make yourself heard yeah. and sometimes I think that with the challenges that maybe women face or do face in the workplace you know there is that little bit of need to have confidence of putting your hand up and I think a forum like this helps support women to move forward and do that okay. you know don't ask for permission uh, don't apologize just climb up there's a glass ceiling because you can see through it and, uh, and most importantly, support your other females. A lot of different women here, uh, and even a couple of men. A couple of men, which is great. So I really love our male ally program because I think that's where it really comes in. So I cannot be a member, I can be an ally. You can be a member as well. Well, t talking from my, I <laughs> say, limited experience so far for the women that, that I think I've helped, um, I think personal brand is very important. I think there's a gender difference there. I think sometimes women uh, are reluctant to, to begin establishing a position on uh, LinkedIn or Twitter. And those things are important nowadays. What you see in, in, in payments, and I've been working in payments for well about 30 years, is that you really see a lack of diversity, uh, i.e. too few women working in payments, and especially higher up. So. Uh, basically, women are well educated, they have nice jobs, good jobs, the first five to ten years, that, that's okay, and then, then there's a dropout. Uh, the second thing is, I think, the way we organize work has to change slightly, and in our business, I think that's actually quite easy. We don't have to have a nine to five, we don't have to have meetings arranged in the evenings when, when it's difficult for women because of childcare and so on. We have a Women in Paytech ne ne network and uh, it's uh, got a 150 people who get involved with meeting up every three months to look at uh, how, to, how to learn more, how to uh, make some changes, yeah. um, how to um, uh, overcome some of the barriers preventing uh, women and men uh, working collectively and in, in an empowered way. I saw some very important male allies following us on Twitter. So Brett King, Matthew Rizzi, Chris Skinner, please join us and become our male allies. Yeah. And the third thing is a problem that none of us have an easy fix for, which is, in, which is growing the pool of women from the what we call the STEM side, women who study science, technology, engineering, mathematics, 
the pool of women coming into the industry from that side is actually shrinking. It's shrinking. And that's not a problem that you can blame on, on old men or the industry. That's a problem much earlier in the educational system. It really starts now. You, the people who attended this event, they have to go out now and enroll others in making the change, asking for help, demanding help, and actually communicating and uh, acting in a way that will drive difference. What I said at the conference today, I want every woman in the audience to seek out the schools in her local community and do at least three speeches to those, at those schools to 12-year-olds, 15-year-olds, 18-year-olds. Why this is a fantastic Start industry. planting the seeds. And why they can be part of it. And yeah. finally, don't complain about men. We, the mothers, are raising the next generation. It's our sons. Everywhere we have so many different country ambassadors and, uh, you know, because uh, while our needs and challenges might be the same, they will be different in each country. So the local ambassador understands what it is that needs to be done in that country. I felt there was a great remark made today. Somebody said, I hope we don't need an organization like this in five years. And that's why I'm involved. I think we probably still will. But it's a great goal to make yourself unneeded, right?